all right everyone so this video is going to be a little bit different one because i'm having like computer issues and it's taking a while to record and two i forgot to record an intro and outro all right so anyways i already have my uh I prime uh, but I, I am going to be using this blue uh, pencil cream base as a base just because I want the blue to stand out a little bit more you can use um, eye pencil that will probably work really well as well or if you have like any type of like blue gel that can help and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush just to kind of diffuse the edges make sure that um, again, everything gets blended really well and there, there's no harsh lines I'm going to be using Coastal Sense palette and I'm going to be using this purple blue color. They don't have names unfortunately but if you, I'll have all the information of the palette in the description bar below. But um, I'm going to be using a flat uh, fluffy foundation brush and kind of focusing that color in my outer corner and working that way, working that color in. There was a mosquito in my room like, I don't know, it kept, oh. Uh, I just didn't want like to get some points here throughout the video. I grabbed your 217 brush and just started to blend the colors. Again, we don't want any harsh lines, that's the thing. Just blend, blend, blend. I feel like I say this in all my videos, but I think it's true. You need to just blend all the colors, make sure that there's no harsh edges or anything like that. And I just started to pick the color and making my color more intense in my outer corner and just blending it inward, just like so. I see the mosquito in my family. There's a fucking mosquito in my like, Ugh. I think someone left the door open and that's why how they got in. Because afterwards I have the like kind of itching on my leg. So here I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. And I'm going to be using um, the same color. And just started to blend that in and making that color more intense. Next what I'm going to be grabbing is like a lighter purple. And I'm going to use that like between the, the cream color and the, and the little blue color with a little fluffy brush. Just kind of making it into like a transition color. And I apply that on my brow bone just a tiny bit, not that much. And I am going to be bringing those colors downwards into my waterline, my mijito de abajo. And just, again, blending it and making the color more intense. I'm going to be using this little uh, concealer brush. And with just um, your regular concealer or your eyeshadow base, just carve out like, like how I'm doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect, kind of like if you're doing a cut crease, but just uh, clean it up pretty much. Because the, the colors that I'm going to be using, I really wanted them to stand out. And they're from the Electric Palette. And it is the green and the yellow color. I will have the name of the colors that I use in the description bar below. I just don't have the palette with me right now. And I use a flat uh, foundation brush. Not foundation, eyeshadow brush. And just started to pack that in in my uh, eyelid. I grabbed the 217 brush and started blending both colors together with no product or anything, just making sure that they look like they were somewhere together. And I grab like a white cream base and apply that in my inner corner. Now you won't probably see it on the video because there's like something, this video was kind of like not intended to be a tutorial but I ended up making it a tutorial. But I grab that little blue color um, you guys saw. And I applied that in my inner corner, but now in the vi in the pictures, it looks very turquoisey, like white, like very um, aqua color. So I just started to apply that in my inner corner. Now the glitters that I'm going to be using are the same glitters that I used in my previous videos. Uh, they're from the craft store, and I'm going to be using mixed glitter glue as um, the glue. And I mixed the blue glitter, the green glitter, and the gold glitter and just applied it with my finger and just like so because I didn't want it to be too precise but I just wanted it to be like just in my lid and like a kind of messy look you kind of want them to stay fast 
almost the glitter just magically appears on my eyelids. Cause you know, us girls wake up with glitter eyelids on the freaking tongue. Just kidding, but yeah, you just kind of want the glitter in your eyelids, not too clean, but not too messy. Just kind of, it's like, eh. you know, you know what I'm saying? I hope you know what I'm saying. And I'm going to be using the little purple color that I used just to kind of make that uh, transition color pop a little bit more. And again, just going back with the 217 uh, brush and just blending all the colors a little bit more together. This is a clean brush. This is optional just to kind of clean the edges. I did that. You can do that too as well with whatever clean something you are. And all I'm doing here is just applying that same purple blue color that I used first just to intensify the color a little bit more because I felt I was, with all the blending, I kind of lost it a little bit. Now warning, if you're going to try this, please be very, very careful. If you don't have that much experience, I suggest do not do it. I'm applying Wet n Wild H2O wa Liquid uh, Waterproof Eyeliner on my eyelids. Now if you happen to mess up, trust me, this is going to mess up your whole look. So if you have no experience or don't even want to, then don't do this. You can just put, put a regular black pencil on it. I just wanted this color to stay a little bit longer and it was a little bit more intense. So here I'm just applying my uh, favorite lashes, number 43, and I'm just going to be applying them with a coat of mascara just to blend the falsies and my real lashes together. Now again, you guys, I'm so sorry about this video. Like I said, I was having technical difficulties with my laptop. I don't know what. So um, again, I hope that you guys enjoy this look. Here's the final look on the look <laughs> I keep repeating myself but remember to go ahead give this video a thumbs up remember to comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys next time thank you